morning to talk it's your boy Chris here and uh, uh, TikTok this is for entertainment purposes only everybody should always do your own research no matter what anybody tells you you never trust anything anybody tells you just do your own research and find out what the truth is uh, so that being said uh, I gotta give credit where credit's due uh, Miss Kimberly Teeter she's the one that taught this so freely and, and I've learned this from her, and I am passing it along as freely as she's given it to me or to us. Uh, and, and, and if you're not following that girl, you, you should be, and, I, and I'm sorry that you ain't. Uh, Kimberly Teeter, she's an awesome person, a joy to be around. She's got a fire for personality, and, and, and her ambition and, and drive is just amazing, and she's got a loving heart bigger than Texas. And uh, uh, this is all... all because of her passing this around, that, that this even is, is even possible. So I got to give her credit where credit's due. Uh, so Miss Teeter, hats off to you. Don't make fun of my hair. Uh, so without further ado, we're going to get into: Have you paid yourself this year? Did you know you could pay yourself? Me neither. I just learned recently that we can pay ourselves. Uh, we are trustees over our trust, our living trust, and have been our entire life. Uh, the average average basic stock starting pay for a trustee is fifty thousand dollars a quarter per trust. So, that being said, <clears throat> I chose to pay myself two hundred fifty thousand dollars for this year for being the trustee over this trust. Uh, did you have to wash your clothes for your for for your for your for your, for your all capital name trust? Did you have to take care of yourself? Did you have to eat? Yes. Okay, so you were trustee over that trust. You had to take care of yourself. You were the trustee over the beneficiary, which is your Christian name, you. Okay? So, and that's the same for me. So I paid myself $250,000 for just that. And by doing so, first I had to go over and type in 1040ES in the, in the Google bar there. And when I did, it brings up this screen right here. All right? Oh, shit. I'm a little bit further ahead. So you're going to type in 1040ES, and it's going to bring up this screen right here. You're going to scroll down to where it says IRS form. Click on that. When you do, it's going to bring you up to your 1040 ES. All right. So there's a lot of instructions. You want to read those instructions. In those, in those directions, it tells you what to do. They tell you what to do. Okay. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, you want to pay special attention where it says here it says make your checks or money order payable to the United States Treasury do not send cash to help process your payment accurately enter the amount on the right side of the check like this see how all them numbers are the same size don't use dashes or lines for example don't enter such and such such and such such as for the line or with the slash and the 100 okay so that probably just saved several of y'all's butts. I know, it, I know it saved mine after I messed up once. I was reading through this, and I said, oh, no, i got to correct mine. So I was able to correct mine before I sent it off because I read the directions. It's very simple. Read the directions. I can't stress it enough, you guys. All right, so when you do this, when you get to this form, you're going to print this form out. You want to write these things out. You want to get you a blue pen. Blue is for the living, and you want to fill these out. All right. Now the form itself is for you. It's for your records. You're not turning this into the IRS. So you don't have to fill it out right now, but you want to fill it out because in case anything's asked in the future, you can pull this back up and, and recall exactly what you did and why you did it and where you did it and all that good stuff. All right. So you want to come all the way down here to the vouchers. All right. Here's your vouchers. And you want to fill these out. It's pretty self-explanatory. Put your first name and middle initial, your last name. You want to put your social security number with the dashes. And I recommend doing it individually. So leave the spouse space blank. Put in your address, your city, state, address, and leave the bottom line blank. And you say, what do I put in the box? Well, there are four vouchers on this ES form. That is for the quarter. Okay, each voucher is for a quarter of the year. Okay, so you take 
a year, and like I said, I paid myself $250,000. So for the quarter, it's going to be $62,500. So that's the year, that's, that's 250 divided by 4 to get that quarter mark. I know that's simple math, but I, some people out there needed to hear that. So it's 250000 divided by 4. That got brought me to 62500 for each one of these vouchers. Now I want you to pay attention to the top right corner of the voucher. Every voucher has a different date above that box. See that date? Now let me get down here to the next one. See how it's different? See the date? It's different. See the date? It's different. All four of these vouchers have a different date. That matters in just a minute, so just remember I said that. So in the box, you're going to put $62,500, like we've seen just a minute ago, in the directions. All right, all the same size. After you do that, you're going to cut out your vouchers. Cut out your vouchers. They're going to be little sideways pieces of paper like this, okay? All right, so now you're going to write on the back the endorsement. This is what makes this, as you're filling this out, you're probably going, what? I'm not making a payment. I haven't paid them nothing. This is a payment voucher. This is like a receipt that you're supposed to send me your payment. Just bear with me because that's what we're fixing to do. We're fixing to make that payment. All right. So once you're done filling these out, cut them out. And then I want you to flip it over. And as soon as I find my pen that I just dropped. Well, I'll get a different pen here. Let me throw you guys off. Because you want to use a blue pen, and I believe this is black. It looks black. So, but you want to use a blue pen, all right? And you want to flip your voucher over, all right? And sideways, like a check. You know, if you flip the check over, there'd be a line here so you can sign your name. This is how you want to write this, all right? This is the endorsement. Pay close attention. This is what makes this the same as money. This makes this what's called a negotiable instrument, okay? This makes this money. You're making this a check. You're making this a money order, as a matter of fact, because it's paid to the U.S. Treasury. It's, it's an order to pay, okay? I'm not going to tell you all have time. You all have due diligence. Look up the definition to a money order in the UCC or, or the Black's Law. Uh, look up the definition for a check. A check is a draft. A draft is a check. Look up these uh, definitions. All right. Remember I said don't trust nobody what nobody says. Don't even trust what I say. Go look it up. Please. I beg you. I beg you. TikTok again. This is for entertainment purposes only. All right. So now I'm going to flip it over and you're going to write this. What did it say in the beginning? Make all checks and money orders payable to the U.S. Treasury, if it'll ever get in focus here, to U.S. Treasury. So you're going to write pay to U.S. Treasury. Then you're going to write the dollar amount. I was trying to follow my pen. I got it. So you're going to write the dollar amount, 62500 And you're going to write that out in cursive, 62000 I used two lines, $500. And remember, don't do the slash with the over 100. So I just did and zero, zero, showing change, okay? Now, for the next line, you're going to put four credit. This is a black pen. You want to use a blue pen. Credit two. And this is going to be your social security number. I'm going to put XXX with the dashes. XX dash X X X X. Alright. So you're going to have or credit to your social security number. Just like that. Alright. Next you're going to tell them TY 20 this is tax year 2023 and form 1040 ES so this is your next line so after four credit to your social security number with the dashes you're going to have TY 2023 form 1040 ES there's more to this endorsement my video is fixing a timeout so I need to post this and I will start another one and we will pick up with the endorsement so if you're not following me, hit that follow button, and I appreciate you guys watching. As always, I'll see you all on top. Morning, TikTok. It's your boy Chris here again. Part two of the es &B process uh, where we left off where my phone ran out of time on was the endorsement. So let's get right into it.
So your endorsement's going to start out, pay to the U.S. Treasury. 62500 was the amount for the quarter for each brochure. All right. Each voucher, you're going to write this on the back of each voucher and write it down in cursive, $62,500. Keeping the change the same. Don't put no line under it or anything. And you do not have to swap colors on the pen. I accidentally could drop my blue pen. You want this all to be in blue. Blue is the living, okay? I'm just showing this for an example here, so I'm writing it out for you guys. All right. So here... After this, you're going to have four credit to your social security number with the dashes. You want to access that public side of you there. So this is TY 2023, tax year 2023 for the next line, form 1040 ES. Okay, that's the same line. Okay. Very next, remember I told you to see, remember I told you about the dates on the front being different? Okay, this is where you want to do this. You write payment. Four. the date on the front the date on the front of the voucher is the date that goes here alright date on front I'm just going to write okay because they're all four different so right here it's going to be the date that's on front of the voucher so where this says January 16th 2024 on the back, I'm going to write payment for January 16th, 2024. On the next one, when I'm filling out the next voucher, where it says September 15th, I'm going to write September 15th, 2023. On the back, where I put payment for. Right here. Payment for whatever that date is on the front of that voucher. It goes right here. Okay? So after that, you're going to write the word BYE. That signifies you're a living person, not a bot, not some entity, some fake entity. But you're the living person, semicolon, by semicolon, okay? And then sign it. You don't have to sign no special way. You don't have to sign no, no dashes, no colons, no none of that. The IRS is actually on your side. They're actually your teammate. They're not going to take advantage of you like that. They're not going to monetize off your signature like everybody else in, in the country is going to. Uh, believe it or not, they're actually on your side. And now the very last thing you want to do is write the last date of that fiscal year. So that's going to be 12-31-2023. Okay? And that's going to be your endorsement for the back of these ESs. Just like that. Screenshot it, whatever you need to do. But that's going to be your endorsement for the back of these ESs. Alright? Now, you're going to set those four vouchers aside. Set them aside. Just set them down. And you want to get back on the computer. And you want to type in the same thing, 1040V. Okay? You go down to the IRS website. Once you ask, once you click, type in 1040V. Scroll down to that IRS website. And then pull up and click on it. Oh, let me go to it. So here we are. So we're going to scroll down. The IRS version, if it'll let me do like this. See, these say IRS, but it's not IRS. So don't get tricked. I don't like doing none of that. I want to go directly to the horse. So IRS.gov. That's the one I want right there. So we're going to click on it. And it's going to bring up your form. Again, print these out. You want the ink, wet ink signature on these things. All right. So now you're going to print this out. Again, read the directions. Oh, again, read the directions. Directions tell us everything we need to know, basically. So, you're going to fill out the front of this, just like you did on the other one. Type in your social security number with the dashes. Leave the joint return spot blank. You want to fill out individually. Put your name. Leave the joint spouse blank. Put your address. Your last name. City, town, leave the bottom blank. Versus foreign account, leave that blank. All right. Now, the box here is different. Because, see, this is only one voucher for the year. Whereas the ESs were four vouchers, this is one voucher. So, this is because this is the total. This is where we put $250,000. 
So you put $250,000 right here, keeping all the numbers the same size like it said in the instructions, just like we did on the other one. All right, now, once you've got that filled out, go ahead and cut that, and you're gonna flip it over. <clears throat> and you're gonna do this almost the same way. Okay, this, this endorsement's gonna be different. You're gonna write it just like this, pay to the U.S. Treasury. All right, let me just flip this over and I'll just do it again this side so y'all can see. So you're gonna write, pay to the U.S. Treasury, pay to U.S. Treasury. All right, then you're gonna write 250,000 dollars, all the same size. Then you're gonna write that out in cursive. Two hundred fifty. Keeps turning on me. Thousand dollars and zero zero. Okay, so you're gonna write it out like that. And your next line is gonna be for credit to, for credit to, and your social security number with the dashes. Okay, so it's gonna be just like that. Then you're gonna put tax year, 20, 23 form 1040 V okay now the very next line is going to be your payment for line this is the entire year so these vouchers don't have a date on the front top corner like the other ones did so this is going to be the last date of the year you want them to include the whole year so you want to let them know the last date of the year that you're speaking for it's going to be payment for 12-31-2023. Okay. So the next line after that is going to be BY. BYE, semicolon. Again, that lets, lets them know that you're a living person. You're not a bot. You're not somebody made up. That you are who you say you are. By. Sign your name. The very next line is your signature. And then how you're going to end it is going to be the last date of that fiscal year. Again, you're closing out that year for them. 2023. So, I'm trying to block out the how we did it on the other way. So, this is your endorsement for the V's. It's going to be different from the ES's just slightly. But that is your endorsement for the V's. Okay? Screenshot that, whatever you need to do. Got it? All right. So now, if I can turn my camera around here. Come on now. There it goes. So, now that you've got all that filled out, you are going to go to the post office and get you some green certified mail stickers. All right? And so you can keep track of this stuff. So now, I got about 45 seconds left in this video. So we'll pick up the next video with how to mail this stuff. All right, so you've got it all filled out, set it aside. Thank y'all for watching. Stay tuned to the next video, and we'll go over the mailing process, okay? I uh, love you guys. If you ain't following me, you should be. And as always, I'll see you guys on top. Morning, TikTok. All right, so the S's and V's. Now that we've got them filled out, we've got them set aside, we want to go to the post office and get us some of them green and white certified mail stickers okay fill it out and check the uh, box that says that you want a return uh, notice basically uh, it's basically going to let you know when it was delivered and uh, who signed for it okay so you want to go to the post office get those and then you want to put the es's and the v's all in one manila envelope do not staple them 
or anything. You can paper clip them together if you want to keep them individual, if you just have OCD, kind of like myself. But I just wrap mine individually with a blank piece of paper. So I wrap my ES's with a blank piece of paper and my B with a blank piece of paper. And then on there, I wrote uh, any questions, uh, feel free to call me at, and I left my phone number. Because the IRS is, like I said in the beginning, your teammate. And they want to be able to talk to you they, they, if something's going on. You know what I mean? And, and, and you need to be able to talk to them. And so and so don't be scared of them. They're actually on your side. Uh, uh, yeah. So uh, if you want, you can do the same thing I did. And you can leave them a number, tell them to call you. Uh, but do not put no stables on them or in them or any of that. Okay. So put them in a, I put them in a manila envelope, okay, and then put that green certified mail sticker on there. I actually had the lady at the post office do it because she's a lot better than I am. I can't ever get it straight on the thing, so. Uh, but you can do that all at the post office. Now, where you're going to send this, each paper has a chart on it, and that chart tells you where to send things, okay? I did mine wrong, and I told people wrong in the first one, and I told them to send it to that place on that, on that chart. Apparently, when you add the ES and the V, it changes things a little bit, and you want to send it to the Kansas City Department. Okay, there's an address. You can look up. Let me go, go ahead and type it in here in Google, and uh, I'll just get it pulled up for you. RS location. I'll just put address in Kansas City. So, do that. It's going to pull up in the city IRS office. Okay. Now, there is a couple addresses on here, but do not be taken back because it is the U.S. Treasury Department in the Internal Revenue Office. Okay. That's the first line of their address. And then there's no street address. It's just Kansas City, Missouri. Yeah. Kind of blew me away. I was like, ah, that can't be right. So I went down and I asked the lady at the post office. And she said they do that when they own the whole block in a, in a city or, <laughs> or whatever. So apparently the IRS has the whole block there. And uh, and like the lady at the post office said, they know right where it's at. So, uh, yeah. So that's their address. There is no street address. It's literally just Kansas City, Missouri. And then there's a code. Okay, so don't get taken back by that. That is their address. That is how you mail it and where you mail it to. So mail it to Kent, the Kansas City location. Okay, now how do you get the return, you ask? Okay, well, now you've called down the credits. You've called down the credits, you've written the check, and you've mailed it in. Okay, you've literally made a payment to the IRS for $250,000, what you've just done. Okay, literally. All right, so now... You file your 1040 taxes. If you've already filed your 1040 taxes, you want to file an amended 1040. So it's a 1040X. Okay. You want to file that amended and then fill it out like normal. And where you're going to put what well, the difference is, it's going to ask you on there is going to be a little spot. You know, why, why are you amending it basically? What, you know, what's the purpose of this? And you're simply going to put added the 1040 ES and the 1040 V. That's it. Send that in. All right, if you have not filed your taxes yet, then you're going to fill out a 1040, okay? And you're going to send that in. Now, when you fill out your 1040 and your 10 and your 1040X, there's a line that says estimated tax payments. This is where you claim your 250. Okay, it says estimated tax payments. Where it says that, you're going to put $250,000 because you just made a tax payment for $250,000. So in that line where it says estimated tax payment, you're going to write $250,000. Now, the next line is going to ask you to, to subtract this line from this line. Well, this line is your taxes you owe. So it's saying subtract the taxes you owe from your two fifty. dollars right? And that will give you this number. The very next line, it says, where do you want your overpayment sent? And it has spots for you to put your account number and your routing number for your bank account. So it can be direct directly deposited into your account. Okay? And that's how you get that money back. Now it will come back in the form of a return deposited into that account. And that's it. 
you can simply mail your tax. You can even do your 1040 in and send it in with these. I put mine in with my ES and my V. I just put my 1040 right on in there with it and send it on in. And, and that's how I did mine. Uh, or you can wait a little bit uh, if you want to give it time for the ESs and Vs to get in the system and then file your taxes. You can do that. Uh, the person that, 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 that was able to share back with us and, and let us know that they had remedy, uh, they said that they gave it a little bit. They sent, they sent their ESs and Vs in first. A couple weeks later, then they filed their taxes like normal. All right. And they put that 250 in where it says estimated tax payment. And, and, and that's, that's that. And that's how we get paid. And that's how we pay ourselves. All right. And we can do this for all the years back. Uh, the IRS goes back three years. I believe this year just fell off or, or 2021 just fell off because they're getting ready to pick up 2025. So, but it did go back till 2021. Uh, and anything older than that, you have to fill out an older return. Uh, but I believe 2021 just fell off on the 15th, I believe, of this month because they're getting ready to pick up 2025. So it's going to be 2025, 4, and 3. Wait, no, 24, 23, 22 is the previous years that you'll be able to apply for or you'll be able to fill out for. So, but good news is 2025 is coming up. So that allows us to be able to pay ourselves for 2024. Right now, we're not able to. I guess technically you could send in the quarters up to this point the on the, on the ESs if you wanted to. But I'm just going to wait till the year's over with, and then I'll file my <clears throat> my 20, 2024s. Or my, two, yeah, my 2024s. So that's how that goes. If y'all have any questions, just, just feel free to comment in the comment box. And uh, I'll do my best to answer uh, as many as I can, uh, the best I can. Uh, if I don't know the answer to a question, I will try to find somebody that does. Uh, that way we can get you an answer. And uh, it's going to be a great, a great, great and awesome morning. Uh, so, a rising, I said morning. Uh, it's going to be an awesome rising. So, grand rising to everybody. And uh, I hope today's an awesome day for you guys. Uh, as I feel that it's going to be for me. So, as always, if you ain't following me, you should follow me. You should click that button right up here and follow me. Uh, and uh, love you guys, and as always, I'll see you all on top.